Subscribe <laughs> man. Manchester United nil. Manchester City two. Fatality. A weak, passive, confused, but expected defeat. Manchester Derby at home, and we got exposed again. People said that we improved with the five three two. Just because of that Tottenham game. Not we need we need to remember how dead Tottenham were. And that Atalanta game really proved it. It was just a hit and hope thing. Save me. Please save me. I don't want to get pumped again. Let me just big up David De Gea before I get onto everything else. Of course, you know, he got a little bit of criticism from the second goal. But if the defenders in front of him do the job and it starts with Wan Bissaka and ends with Luke Shaw. First you need to stop, take away the cross and then you need to come, if the cross goes in, complete the job and clear it. None of them do their jobs. Yeah. So how the hell is David De Gea the first person to blame when he keeps you in that game in the first half? In that five to ten minute span, oh my days. His wrists were doing 360s like the Omnitrix in Ben 10. He was our man in a match again. Defending. Like I said, what else can I say about that? There, there isn't even schoolboy defending. It's nursery reception settings. Man of letting the ball bounce multiple times before clearing it. One of them led to the goal. You want defenders that are fearless. Only one that is almost like that or is like that is buying. But that unfortunately can work to the detriment of himself. Sometimes. Maguire, Lindelof, Shaw, even Wambasaka, scared to attack the ball. It's all half-hearted. And I'm just I'm still confused how out of all the defenders, Bai was the one to come off. Hmm. Midfield. Everyone really on the pitch. I can speak about everybody, except for David De Gea. And really, the, probably the strikers as well, because <laughs> they didn't get any service, except for that Ronaldo body. I mean, Greenwood had a sniff of that, but couldn't get it under control. What did the strikers get? They were poor, of course, but what did they get? What did they get? I love Bruno, but when he gets frustrated in the first 10 minutes, he won't play well. <sighs> Ronaldo wasn't in it, like I said. Good body in the first half, in the second half. Wow, we were glued to our seats, but not because it was entertaining, because we parked the bus and said, GG Pep, another, another defeat, another win at Old Trafford for you, GG. What a manager you are, what a team your Manchester City or, or whatever you call them, your citizens are. What a team you have there. I don't see where this team is going tactically and mentally. If I'm being honest, and I've said it before, everybody is to blame. The board, the coaches, and the players. It's sad. I'm sad. Cappy's sad. All of you guys, I can imagine, are sad. Once again, I ask, where do we go from here? I couldn't even give you an answer. I'm lost for thought. I cannot explain anything. You can hear it. It's almost like... A Certain points of this, <laughs> you know, recording this and speaking to Cappy, I've been mumbling and I'm sure probably you guys are like, what is he on about? I don't even know what I'm on about. I just can't. You see? Everybody. Nobody gets off the hook. Let's start with the board. You are a disgrace. No care. No ambition, nothing. You must walk around smug, knowing how much money is running through your pockets. Absolutely evil and disgusting. Greed at its finest. Coaches, we already know what I've won. All of them, far from good enough to be at Manchester United. After being 1-0 down, there was no change of plan. They did the same Thing. We literally rely on the players to lift their intensity. Come on, lads. One goal changes the FC. 
And let me explain this as well. There's a difference between urgency and panic. Against the big teams, Manchester United panic because they don't believe. They don't want to get smoked into the sky because they, the players, realise they can't perform one of their miraculous comebacks. <laughs> they show urgency against the smaller sides because they believe the opposite. But why do we have to be in a poor position to show something? Why is that? I mean, the second goal just before half time. Oh my goodness. Maguire, the captain just waiting and then Shaw doesn't have the awareness to know someone is coming in behind. No communication. And I will put most of that on Harry because he is the leader, the one wearing the armband. I'm appalled by everybody and everything. At this point, I'm not excited to watch Manchester United anymore. I haven't mm -hmm. been excited for a hot minute. Mm -mm. None Give me a reason to feel great, to feel excited. So you can watch Ronaldo, who's hardly involved in the big games and hardly gets any chances, to see Bruno get frustrated and run around in this team and just get hangry because things now go on in my way. A midfield that constantly does the splits without even doing a class of capoeira. That's talent for you. It's a waste. A waste of talent on the pitch. A waste of time. A waste of mine. CMs. And yours. Yours. The fans. The ones that matter. The ones that go week in, week out. Whether you're at home. Whether you go to Old Trafford or the away ground that we're at. And support them. Sing the songs every other week. I've had enough. It's biodegradable crap. I've had enough CM. Over the last two weeks, we've had all our rivals sing Always at the Wheel. I swear if I hear that song one more time, my head's gonna explode like that episode of The Chappelle Show. I'm done. Drop a like, subscribe, hashtag twinning in the comments and have your say. How are you feeling? Let me know in the comment section below. Bye. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rate you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.